What's going on everybody? This is Al from PlaybookGamer.com and in the last video we went through our latest exhibition game in NCAA Football 09 to test things out. This is the point of playing exhibition games to get a feel of things, to try to find any bad issues a game may have. And so far, I'm overall, I'm pleased with 09 except one little issue that really concerns me and that's the offensive line play, mainly pass blocking. In the previous video, I highlighted several plays where, for whatever reason, both teams would have an offensive lineman would just let somebody just go right by for no reason at all. And I'm a little concerned about that. Uh, at least we don't have jump the snap on the All-American level. If I can figure out how to somewhat fix this issue, then I'll be very pleased. Now, before we actually get into this, I just want to quickly mention that I am posting at a higher rate than usual. Normally, I like to post every other day, maybe three videos a week. Right now, I'm doing like every day. This is not going to be the norm. I'm just doing this for two reasons. One, I got a little bit of time to do it. And two, the quicker I figure out if a game is worth going into or not, the quicker we can get into the real cool stuff, the dynasty, you know, all that uh, good stuff. Or, vice versa, the quicker I'll just get back in the 06 and just do my thing there because I think that game is just the best of the bunch. So, the quicker I figure this out with 09, the quicker I'll make the decision on where to go after that. That way we could get into the meteor things, which is a whole lot more fun than the exhibition games. Okay, so here's what we're going to do today. In order for me to test the passing, the pass blocking issue, we're going to have a pass heavy game today. I'm going to be New Mexico State taking on Missouri. Both of them are pass-heavy offense. Hal Mummy, this may have been his last season at New Mexico State, but I haven't even looked at the playbook. I'm pretty sure it's just a lot of air raid stuff. Going up against Missouri, Missouri had Chase Daniel, Jeremy Macklin, just an amazing group of talents. You can see here on the screen, A-plus offense. Also, in the last video, I mentioned that my next test was me being a really bad team, taking on a good team. Hopefully today, we'll see Missouri really light up the scoreboard. As you can tell, my defense is terrible at C- minus going up against an A-plus offense. If Missouri struggles to put up 20-plus points, then that's a, maybe even a bigger issue than the offensive line play, the pass blocking, because I just don't see that much of an issue in 06, at least on my end, so... We're going to test all of that today. So again, New Mexico State versus Missouri. Let's go to the... Here we can do a... Let's do a night game this time. We'll have decent weather. We don't want that to impact anything. And I'm going to be use the New Mexico playbook. Let's fix that really quick. I need to go the other way. Go here. Defensive playbook. They run a 3-3-5, but I looked at the defensive roster... I mean, they're not very good anywhere, but I'm going to stick with a 4-3 just to keep it pretty balanced and such. Uh, let's look at their uniform options. they got an all-white look, and that's it. They don't have any other options. That's my only choice. And on this side, I'm pretty sure they're all black. We'll just stick with that. That looks pretty good. Okay, let's go ahead and get started. I have not changed anything to the sliders. It's still default All-American. I want to play some more games with that first before I decide if something really needs changing. We'll probably know something after this game for sure, since this is going to be our first lopsided test. Another way I'm going to test the pass blocking is I'm going to do some more unique stunts on the front four on the defense and see how Missouri handles it. They may do just fine because my defense isn't very good. We'll see, though. I did notice, like, in the last game, Florida done a couple of those things that... I'd like scrape exchanges and defense vents going inside and such. And All right, let's look at the preview. So and Kirk Clear skies and just beautiful weather here for tonight's game between the New Mexico State Aggies and the Tigers of Missouri. At least they changed up the preview a little bit in this game. It's really no different in the grand scheme of things, but not like 04 and 05 where they have the unique entrances and stuff. But. That's not, a, in the grand scheme of things, that's not a big deal to me because it's the gameplay that matters. There he is, Chase Daniel. Was an awesome quarterback. 
He's still in the NFL. He's still backing up. I think he's still playing for the Bears. He may be gone somewhere else. Going to go with Missouri. That's expected. All right. We'll just do the coin toss. We won it. Let's go first. We'll get the ball. Now, let's look at a few things. Again, just to clarify, gameplay, six-minute, all-American, default. Just make sure you I wasn't lying to you there. Okay, let's look at our playbook. We'll go to audibles. We got ace slot, trips, normal. Then we got a bunch of gun stuff. We got split, split white flex. This is a new formation. Get your tight end out. That's a default. It's actually a default 20, 21 personnel, sorry, with your tight end in the slot. That's pretty cool. Then you got your traditional two-back slot, split offset. That was an 07. Gun cluster, that is actually in 07. It's only like in two playbooks from what I remember. Spread flex, flex weak. I think that is a new formation. Trips halfback weak, empty tray, trips tight end. And just like we're going, I'm going to try to keep this as like pure air rate as possible. Pretty much go four wide the whole time, unless I got two good halfbacks I can throw to. Then I may go into the slot and do some things there, the two back stuff. I'm just kind of looking to see what they have. Like from this formation, Z shallow cross, that's some air raid stuff there. There's some run and shoot. Let's go to spread flex weak, see what we got here. X follow. There's my slot post, which I really like. I don't see a whole lot of air raid stuff there. I know there'll be some air raid stuff here. There should be. Z post, that's your Y cross. Angle, that's Y sail. Quick slant, that's Y corner. So I knew all that. So I may be using this formation a whole lot more than when I originally thought. Uh, let's see. They got mesh. I'll try to run as much of this as possible. There's again, there's more of the other stuff we just looked at. I just wanted to see well, the split Y flex. There's Y corner. That's an interesting little motion there. Auto motion with the mesh. Horizontal. Just a lot of high low reads on each side. Just kind of get a feel of what I got in the playbook here. Now I just want to go to my trips halfback weak look. You got a Y. That's actually a Pretty much a snag concept on the right. I'm not seeing actually like Y stick anywhere, which surprised me. That bubble screen looks not too bad. There's a shallow cross right there. That's interesting. That looks like, man, that's like real run and shoot right there with the motion. Old school. Okay, just kind of gives me a rough idea. Now what we need to do is look at our roster and see what our best personnel is, and we'll just stick with that. Uh, Chase Holbrook, we got a good quarterback. Our halfbacks, can they catch? Nothing, 68 is actually good enough to work with. In 06 it was at least. But we got 82 and 78. Wide receivers, We it looks like we got four of them. So it looks like I'm going to go back and forth between 10 personnel and 20 personnel. Do I got a tight end? Nothing special here. It's interesting that a left outside linebacker. That's weird. We'll put in Froznoy, Franzoy. He can catch a little bit, but he's not all that fast, so that makes it simpler for me in the play calling. That's what we'll go with. As you can tell, 70s, 80. We don't have hardly anybody in the 80s. Especially on defense, we got a one good linebacker. We got a decent middle linebacker, too. Corners, nothing much. An 82 is strong safety. And nothing at... Kicker, that's for sure. I mean, that's nothing there, nor a punter. So we're going to be hurting a punter. Like, we even, well, we literally, we don't even have a punter on the team. That's weird. Okay, that must be whoever created the rosters. Probably forgot to put in a punter. All right, let's look at Missouri's roster. They got a lot more talent. There's Chase Daniel. Jimmy Jackson. Look at that. Their receivers. There's Jeremy Macklin. Kaufman, 94 tight end. I mean, what do you do with that? Really good player, so they should do some damage to us the offensively. If they don't, then I'm going to worry. And that's why I, I'm, I picked this matchup for this purpose alone. The test of pass blocking with a lot of passing for both teams, and hopefully Missouri does a number on us. So let's get this show on the road. The 
kicker's got the ball set up, and we're ready to get this. Fingers crossed. Going. Hopefully, we see some good things in here. I still have there injuries off. All right, we're on the right well, hash. We'll to see the offense come out of the field for their first drive of this game. Twin halfback. Why wow, flex? We're not going to use that. Twin halfback. Let's just start off here with, if I can get to it, let's do angle. A.K.A. Y. Like sale. They're going zone. I'm not going to do any... We'll just leave it as he is. Oh, just a bad throw. Just a little behind him. The corner, they went zone. The corner went up, so I went to... I should have went to this guy right here. That's my fault. I should have went to him. He was open too, but it just overthrew it slightly. Just it is what it is. Okay. Let's stay here and let's try to do Y corner. I'm going to throw pretty much the entire time. Again, I just want to test... Oh, also, my bad. Let's look at the line play here. I couldn't, I didn't pay attention to the line. Good blocking there. That looks pretty normal. Nobody, of course, I got it off fairly quick. That's a quick concept. All right, we're going to do slide protection. New Mexico State comes I don't remember. Fumble. Out of the gate. Oh, baby. That wasn't even a big hit either. He just fumbled it. That's a that's actually a double team tackle. You don't really see that. Stinks, so it's a fumble. But either way, okay. Let's get on defense. We're gonna run a lot of quarters, but I want to try like for example, what was it at? Do they have any zone where it's got some unique stunts? I'm not seeing it here. Okay, we'll look at it later. Dang it. They're on the right side of the 50 as they start this drive. I was too late on that. Not bad. Missouri. I was too late on the play call, so we're going with some one high look. Get about five yards there. All right, let's go here. Like this Raider 2, I'm curious to see how they handle it. Let's be something like this. Missouri comes out in the shotgun. Good protection. Touchdown. So let's look at here. Good protection across the board. They picked everybody up. And I threw a weird blitz at him. I even threw a stunt or two. I was just looking for something the defensive line would do a little bit different instead of just going straight ahead. And left Macklin wide open in the cover two zone. Okay, at least they scored, so they're doing their part there. And they're lining up for the PAT. Oh, let's get back on offense. This may be a long game just because we're going to throw so much. Again, I, I want to test both lines. I think the run blocking is solid in this game. I've, the last two games, it felt pretty good to me. I didn't see anything goofy. It's just the pass blocking that worries me right now. Hopefully we could get a fix or that was just a one-game aberration. I'm sure it wasn't. But. Okay. I want to do cluster. We want to do this. Uh, let's just pick. Let's do corners. We're going zone. I'm just going to read the corner on the right here. I got a center beater, but I want to. Let's just look at the corner for now. Oh, that's intercepted. That's my fault. That is stupid on my part. He just stood right there and waited on it. That's just my bad. Bad play. Well, so far, so not so good. <laughs> Let's do quarters. The offense will start at the 29. Missouri lines up I need to go back and look as well. Would the line play look okay? Line play seemed okay. I mean, this guy was coming to blitz, but the offensive lineman at least read him. Now, he couldn't get to him in time, but at least he saw him. So, okay, at least the line play is looking pretty solid so far. Uh-oh, he's gone. Six points. Wow. 
you can really see a discrepancy between the two teams now, can't you? That's a good thing, though. This is what they should be doing. They should be destroying us, to be honest. I'd like to think I can keep up with them, but I've already had two turnovers. One of them went my fault, and it was just a fumble. All right. Hopefully I don't turn the ball over again. I'm sure I will. New Mexico State, nothing. They line up to kick this one away. He kicks it off. Aaron takes it from the six. This one might be coming back, holding, I guess. Check out the penalty. Well, this is about as bad a start as you can ask for, but so we're out, man, so we'll it is what it is. Let's go back here, and let's run. Hey, he let's run wide corner, or wide cross, sorry. We're going we zone. Ball on the let's spread out, I guess. Holbrook with three wide receivers. Holbrook steps back to pass. Good play there. Pick up a first down. In this game, this corner is going down a whole lot more. So my first read was actually the, my center beater, the cross, and it wasn't there. So now I'm just looking at the corner. He comes down, so I'm going up to the top to my post. First down. Okay. Let's go here. Let's do a two-by-two two look. Let's just do X follow. We're going zone again. This will either go to my comeback or my drag. Another big hit. At least he didn't fumble it. Four yards. Again, I'm throwing. I, I got to keep looking for the line. This was a really quick throw. So good blocking, though. As you can tell they're picking up their blocks halfway decent so far. And let's do curl flat. We're going man. I'll just go to somebody on the left more than likely. Missouri brings in the nickel here. Holbrook set to go to the air. Good play there. Pick up a first another. As long as the big hits don't cause too many bad hit, you know, bad plays, then I, I don't mind it. I just get upset when your players drop the ball or they fumble due to so many big hits. That's where I have issues with it. Uh Let's do it. Drive looks. Let's do drive. We're going zone. Doing that. It's like that flyover defense look there. New Mexico State comes out of the shotgun. Defense looking for his first incompletion this drive. A little shallow. Pick up the first there. Oh, he got nailed on that. We can look at the line play. They only sent three. But they picked it up. I thought that this guy right here was going to do something. But he didn't. Right guard picked him up. Good deal. Just a little center beater right here. Just went to my, if I could get the cursor on him. Stupid, come on. Just an easy, easy look right there. Let's go back here and let's call double smash. We're going zone. Every one of the, regardless of the routes, a lot of these plays are the same in terms of what they're trying to attack and such. Good play here. Okay, this gets me excited. All right, let's look at the line play first. Not bad. They kind of picked it up. Now, we got a guy blitzing on the far left, but that's normal. Okay, I have a center beater. It's my halfback on the angle route, but I don't see a hole there. So, my next read is the corner. Again, Missouri's deciding to go low a lot today. They're going after that guy. Look who's wide open. The smash. You cannot do this in 06. You can in 09, which just has me super excited. You have no idea how giddy I am when it comes to having to read the corner against zone. It just adds another massive layer of depth with these pass plays. Uh, let's go back here. Right, let's go back to Z post. We're going man this time. First down. Going 4 3. Holbrook comes to the line with three wide. Holbrook is looking to stay perfect. Cover zero. Touchdown. Oh, out of bounds. No, we can't do it. Dang it. I, I shouldn't have done that. Let's challenge the play. It ain't going to let me do it. I accidentally done the instant replay. Let's try it again. Oh, I accidentally done it. I think he was in. We can go back and look. 
I'm always used to going to the instant replay after this. I should have challenged. I shouldn't have done that. Ooh, maybe his foot was down. The toe. Ooh, maybe that was out of bounds. Okay. All right, second and ten. Let's go back here and let's run. Flanker dig. We're going zone. This will just go to somebody on the left here, more than likely. The Aggie set up in the gun. Back to pass. Surveys the field. He unloads it. And I should have threw a little bit harder. Big hit caused that, but still. I should have threw a little bit harder, a little quicker. Let's go slot post. We're going zone. I may... Let's see. We're going to do a slide protection in. First down. Okay, let's look here. Let's look at the line play. Not bad. Well, I mean, that's not bad. I, I had to move up in the pocket a little bit. I had a center beater right there. I don't know if you noticed that. That guy was wide open right here. But this guy probably could have been open too. No, he wasn't. I knew this was going to be open. As long as I had the time to throw it, I knew I was going to give it to him. I had a chance. I moved up in the pocket. Boom, first down. Okay. Uh, first and 10. I'm on the 13. Let's go here. Let's try that bubble screen. We're going man. We may have a chance here. We'll see. New Mexico State sets up with four receivers. Here's a quick throw. Just another big hit drop. That's why I don't like about the big hits. Just too many drops because of them. Let's go back here to what? Let's do. Let's go back to white corner. We're going man. I'd love to hit the flag route. Let's see what the. Let's see what the safeties do. Oh, get in there! Six points. Let's look at the line here. I'm just looking at the defensive line. Okay, they can't pick up everybody. All five offensive linemen have somebody. Even the right tackle was going after that guy. So that's a legit blitz. I have no issue with that whatsoever. So they went cover zero. So I was going to go to my cover zero beater. Also my cover one, which is the flag grab. Six points. Awesome play. That was a fun little drive. I hope you enjoyed that. That was really cool. That never gets old for me. I'm just a passing type of guy. I just like attacking coverages. It's so much fun. We may not run the ball once today, but again, I'm just here to test things. So, All right, let's get back on defense. We're still in the first quarter, aren't we? Quarter's not even halfway over with. New Mexico State to kick. 89 yards, all passing. That's a short. Oh, yeah, we don't have a good kicker. He can make a tackle, though. Ah! The coach was not happy with his defensive line on the last drive. Is this offense seemingly Again, I'm not seeing a whole lot of weird stunt type stuff. Like, this crash. Let's try that crash three. You're not kidding, Kurt. They've been dominating. They may be able to try to do something here. We'll see. Missouri comes to the line with three wide. Ooh. Just a, it's just an animation. I know, but. Still, I mean, they don't have to have a big kid on every play. I know they've done that just to uh, please kids and stuff, but still. I think it's just a tad bit overdone in this game. But that's just my opinion, though. Second down, 13 yards to go. Let's go back to quarters. They, This is their, oh, yeah, this is basic gun bunch. Ooh, ooh. Should have been picked. All right, third and 13. Let's do cover three. Oh, yeah, I didn't go back and look. Again, this may take me forever just because I'm breaking down practically every play. But all right, good protection. You know, this nobody came through in a goofy way. Let's see. Missouri lines up with three receivers. Daniel drops back to pass. I oh, almost got to him. All right, punt it. Let's get the ball back. I just want to see Missouri beat us fairly handedly and put up like 400-plus yards. If they do that, then I'll be very happy with the result. 
Thankfully, I'm not seeing any goofy pass blocking issues. That's just good. Fumble, another fumble. Mm. Do do what? A big hit. Which is so weird because the two games prior, we didn't see hardly any of that. Now we're seeing a ton of it today. Makes no sense, but whatever, whatever. Okay, let's do 689 hook. We're going man. I don't know what to let's pinch in, I guess. New Mexico State comes out of the shotgun. Holbrook back to throw. Let's go. go over the top. I had a drop. Now that's not a big hit, that's just a drop. I didn't see a big hit. Now somebody came through, but that looked like every offensive lineman had somebody except that right guard, but he I wasn't expecting him to come over and pick this guy up on the left. So I'm okay with all that. That's no big deal. And that's not a big hit. That's just a just a drop due to getting hit. Okay, let's go back here and let's do curl flat. So We're going man. Ball on the 28 yard line. New Mexico State sets up with four receivers. Oh no 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 no! Ooh, first down somehow. That linebacker moved over. I don't know if you saw that. All right, good protection. You see this guy right here? For whatever reason, he just made a beeline to the guy I was throwing to. I can't get the cursor on him. Come on. We just got very lucky on that one. All right, first down. Let's go here. Let's do switch. We're going man. Three, two, six. Everybody's an option here. Oh, what a catch. Just enough. This probably wasn't the best idea, but I was able to put just enough touch on it. Good protection. I was just able to put just enough touch on it to get over the linebacker's head. I didn't need to back up that far either. Just enough. Okay, what is it now? Second and one. We got spread flex. Let's see what we got here. We can try double cross. They're going man the again. Second and short. Who's on who? I may let's see if they go. Do slide protection. Ooh, offsides. But I think a lineman moved first. Thank you. Fake snap worked, I guess. Guess it's first and ten. We'll just go back to the same play, double cross. We're going zone. First down. We're going to read. This should be interesting. I really don't have a center beater, so. And that's just, let's see what happens here. Okay. This particular play, whatever it is from this formation, if you remember Florida, Carlos Dunlap done this a whole lot. Just came right on through. For whatever reason, your offensive line can't read it. He was going after him. This right tackle, I don't know why he would, it just, I don't know. Your offensive line isn't programmed well when you go up against that particular defensive play in that formation. I should have got it off quicker. My halfback was wide open. Uh, let's go back here and... Let's just do curl flat. We've got a second and long. We'll go back to our third and long unless we can get a good gain here. The Aggie set up in the gun. Over. He rifles it. Got most of the yards back. So we'll just stay here and go back to slot post. We're going man. This will probably go to one of the outside receivers. First down. Just to cut basic man beater. Let's look at the line play. Looks pretty normal. I think it's just some particular plays on defense where your offensive line just don't know what to do about it. Good. Look at that timing. Man, that was good. So much fun to hit that comeback. All right, let's go back to our two-back sets. Split off sets. Let's go back to Y cross. We're going man. Pretty much any out. Ooh, they're challenging the play. And I'm pretty sure we got the foot in Ooh, let's 
see what happens. Play stands. Okay, just making sure. And they lose a timeout. Let's go offense. Let's go offensive line. Let's go back to Z post, a.k.a. Y cross. They're going zone. We're going to read the center beater. And then we're going to read the corner. We're going to pinch in. And he didn't get upfield in time. All right, second and 11. Ooh, I got my half. My There we go. I needed my other guy in there. I had the fullback yet. It's All right, they're going zone. We'll do wide corner. This is the eighth play of this drive. We'll read the slant, and then we'll read the corner. The Aggies line up with three wide. Holbrook hasn't missed There we go. Pick up a first down. Center beater. See a big hole right there, so that's just an easy read. Boom, pick up a first down. So it's first and ten, and that should be the last play of the quarter. I knew that play, this quarter would be long. I mean, this game is going to be long in general. I'm going to let that play go. Like I said, we're just going to let it go. There are three quarters remaining, and our score here, Missouri 14, New Mexico State 7. Okay, let's just go. Let's go back to spread flex. Let's go split in drag. We're going man. I'd love to hit the flag right on the left. We're going to shift our line. Their last trip down here was a success. We're doing that, so we'll have to go to our shallow. Fumble. Dang it, dang it, dang it. That kills me. I mean, I hope you understand how that could be frustrating. Another big hit caused a fumble. I just, I don't know what you do about that. And it was an impact guy. Oh, okay. Let's get back on. Missouri lines up defense, the set. That, which is so weird because, like I said, the first couple games, we didn't see too much of that. Even when it was on Heisman, it's not a whole lot of it. Pick up flags. What happened there, I wonder? Maybe pass interference? Holding. Like here we can try, like we got that three. Do we have, where's an ant? I don't know which play it is. Like this monster three. Let's see how, this may be the play. Ball on their own seven. Let's see how he handles it. Missouri lined up with three receivers. There you go. I don't know if you saw it or not. We'll look at this. This defensive play is designed for your defensive end on the right to come through the A gap. And look at the right guard. Right, he actually went to the center. This guy right here, I had another blitzer. So I'm actually okay with that. There was Okay, that's not too bad, but you kind of see the theme there. I think anytime you have somebody pulling in into the A-gap, offensive line may have some issues with it. So food for thought, something to think about. It's second down and seven to go. Ball on the 17-yard line. All right, back... Second and seven. Let's go back. I don't like the way that looked. He drops back. Short toss. The ball is tipped. Nice job getting a hand on that one. Yeah, really good heads up play there to get a hand on the football by the defense. So that'll make it third down. Okay, third and I, I went quarters. I didn't mean to do that. I was going to do something a little bit more funky, but that's okay. I can't see what's happening on that side of the field, sack. And he had all day to throw. I'm surely somebody was open. We will fair catch that. All right, maybe we won't fumble it this time due to a big hit. Two back slots. What do we have here? PAF slide. Uh, flood. Post. Let's do Y corner, but the lefty version. We're going zone. I'll probably just read the corner on this. I don't know if my slant could get over there in time. Three wide receivers. First down. Look at the throw. He looks. Get about five yards there. Let's look at the line. Looks pretty normal. Okay, I'm honestly thinking it's just certain defensive plays the offensive line just can't handle. 
That, that's actually a good sign. I'm okay I, with that. I can live with that. Because 95% of the plays so far have looked pretty legit in terms of offensive line at least attempt and to know what they're doing. All right, let's go back to wide corner. Let's just stay here. Second We're going down. zone. We're going to shift our line. From the gun. Look at the throw. Over the middle. And he dropped. Drop test. That'll drive the coach. Okay, uh, third and five. And drive Let's just do a basic curl flat to try to pick up the first. When he gets to the I thought they don't you have it here. I think it's here. We're going zone. Five to go. Ball on the we'll just read that corner. Line. We're going to spread out the line. The Aggies come out showing three wide. Over. Back to throw. Throws it out there. Just don't fumble it. Okay. Look at the line play. Not bad. Looks pretty normal. All right. Corner went low. So what we're going to do, we're going to go to the high read. Curl flat. Hit the curl. First down. I didn't see a whole lot of P reads. Am I missing something? They may have something here. Let's do a little play action. P A read flow. Let's try that. They are doing that. I may actually run it. We got the numbers and we got the shift. That's good defense. And we got five yards out of it though. Six yards. I'll take it. Let's go back to that bubble screen. Ooh, look at this halfback wreck. That's interesting. Let's go back to the bubble screen. Didn't work last time. We may have a chance here. I fooled with it on both hashes. I did it in 07. I'll, I'll say that. That's a little bit better. That's what I'm used to seeing. Just don't fuck. What? Good play there. Again, zone, you have the, uh, the ability to do the, to make a play here. Good play. I like it. All right, we're on the 15. Right hash. Let's go back to split in drag. Is it here? Nope, it is here. You're right, Kirk. How about the receiver stats? I had it on my mind, so I want to run it. We're going zone. And the wide receiver screen might I may not have enough time. When it comes to yards Let's see what happens. Flag. That's going to be a, what's it called? Rough in the passer. On the four. What, we, what can we do on the four? Uh, well, we got a screen. I want to try a screen before we, like a wide receiver screen. I'm not seeing it. Let's do this bubble screen again. I'm not really, I should have went to the other side. Dang it, I didn't think about that. That's okay. Ooh, that was a bad play. Ooh, we got, we got lucky. That could have been a whole lot worse. Or at least we, we lost some yards, but we got a little more room to work with. So let's do something about that. Uh, let's go back here. Let's run. Hmm. Let's do why sale. We're going man. All right, we're going to try to hit our impact player on the left. They're bunching in, so we're going to slide protect in. With three wide receivers. Has completed every pass this drive. Fires Golly. I mean, I hope you understand why, again, I've said this a couple times. The line looks fine. That looks pretty normal to me. The right guard, he ain't going to go after that guy. Another drop. It's just due to a big hit. Just getting his head knocked off. That just happens too often for me. I just don't like it personally. You may disagree. That's fine. All right, it is third and goal. Let's just do a basic curl flat and try to pick up the touchdown. We're going zone. We'll just read the corner on the right. New Mexico State comes to the line with three wide. Holbrook hasn't missed yet. Touchdown. Corner went high. Let's look at the line play. Looks pretty normal. They only came with three. The corner went high, so I just went to the low read. Six points. Okay. Let's tie the game up. We'll be tied with the extra point. I just wish I didn't see so many drops and fumbles and due to big hits. Wow, what a that's an awesome block right there. And here's the Pontiac game-changing performance. 
It's almost like, you know what's funny? Well, I'll take it. I'm not going to say anything. I'll hold that in for now. Uh, all right. I had to say a very good kick. And this one's a short I got a bad kicker anyways, but still. Perry fields it at the get him. Yeah. Leading tackler. <laughs> kicker. Let's do a 3-3, three, three, a 3-2-6. Three, and let's throw free safety fire zone. Let's see how they handle this. Take over the it may be fairly normal for them. We'll see. I'm going to treat this as a quarters. I know it's cover three, but I'll control the short zone over here. All right, it's time for Missouri to start doing something on offense. And they went halfback draw. Good play. First down. Going four wide again. Let's stay here and let's do... I'm not liking any of that. Let's just go back to Nick quarters. They line up at the 47. First down. Looks like they're going to their bunch look. Ready four. He looks to throw on first down. He lets it go. Has it I don't see a lot of big hits on our end. Actually, I wouldn't be bothered so much by the hits if we didn't do it our on our end, but I'm not seeing any big hits from us. I guess I got to do that manually, but I'm not seeing any of my CPU fellow defenders doing that. Unless I'm missing it, I'm not paying attention, I'm not sure, but I really know some of the other team does it. <laughs> Let's just put it that way. Ooh, he was wide open. Good catch. And a drop. Was the intended receiver on the play. That'll bring up third and down. something that may be worth doing is just, just to crank up the uh, crank up the wide receiver they catching for both teams. And regardless of big down. hit, maybe they'll catch him more because of it, just to negate the big hit Daniel thing a little bit. I don't know. Drops the throw. Looks. Good play. Yeah, good catch. He's taken down. Let's look at the line play. Good protection. Yeah. Okay. It's good to see them move the ball a little bit. I was starting to get a little worried they was going to kind of go away from us a little bit offensively. Now it looks like they're moving the ball some. Bubble screen. That's just a bad, I don't know what happened there. Just a, he stopped. Why in the world did he stop? He probably wouldn't have caught it anyways if he'd have kept running, but still. Going five wide. Let's go back to the three, two, six. And let's throw that fire zone at him again. Second down, ten yards to go. Ball I'll control this guy line. instead. The Tigers are lining up so that's what that looks like. Okay. Ooh, good play. He snags it. And he's tackled Third and four. I didn't see. I will at least see. This is, that's the reason why I called it. This defensive end's going in. Left guard picked him up pretty well. All right, third and four. Let's do... Let's throw something weird at him. Let's do a, a cover one man They're on third and four. Third Just curious to see what they do with it. That's a weird play. Ah, just threw it badly. All right, field goal safe, man. We got a minute to try to do something. We'll try to do something. Score up for half. Now, I also have to remember I'm pretty good at, the, at these games, so I got to factor that in as well. You know, if this is going to be a close game, I'd like to think because I, I was had a big part in it, <laughs> offensively at least, keeping up with them. I don't expect our defense to do much against them. But so far, I'm actually pleased with the defense. <laughs> kind of surprised, but maybe I shouldn't be. All right, we got a minute. Let's get the ball down the field a little bit if we can. Let's go back to some more air raid. Let's go back to Y. The question is, can they do it again? Uh, let's just go back to Y cross. We're going zone. We'll bunch in on the slide protection. Intercept. Yeah, that was a bad play on my part. 
The corner threw me off. I didn't know if he was going high or low. He kind of stood in like in one spot, it appeared. I saw this guy open a little bit, so I was like, oh, get it to him. But this safety came over, done a good job. That was kind of a... He just, he just took it from him. Good defense. I got no problem with that. Let's go back to quarters. They'll start this drive at the 47. The Tigers come out showing three wide. Ooh, he's wide open. Mm, get him. I saw him there. There was nobody on my side to defend. Let's uh, let's do a zone blitz. I forgot. Chase Daniel can run a little bit, but I need to start blitzing a tad bit more. Let's give it a shot. That was a risky throw. I don't know what he was thinking there. We'll go here, and let's just do cover three. They only need three yards. They may go for it, possibly, maybe, if they don't convert. And they're going with the QB draw. That makes a ton of sense, and he fumbles it. Jeez, another fumble. Golly. Stuff like this is just, it just frustrates me, even for the opposing team. Just another turnover. Just all of a sudden, the, the game is plagued with turnovers. I don't get it. We're out 45 seconds. Let's see if we can get down the field with something. Let's do... Mm, where's the other one? I want to do the other smash. Let's do double smash. We're going zone. I have a center beater. So let's take advantage of that if we can. Nope. Good play there and a fumble. Golly, how many fumbles are going to be today? Jeez, that's too many. Okay. Line play looks really solid. Had no issue with that. No center beater. The guy was covered, so I'm going to my corner. He went low. Look how wide open my flag route is. But, fumble. Okay. Due to what? Unfortunately, a big hit. Just it is what it is. All right, slot post. We're going zone. Kind of need to get down the field. I got to get another big hit. That's, that infuriates me. There just shouldn't be that many. Especially the other team doing it ten times more. I caught them off sides. First and yes, that's what we'll go with there. Uh, let's go Gambler. They're going man. This will go to probably to the wheel or to my outside guy on the left. Touchdown. Six points. They went cover zero. They brought both safeties. The protection looks pretty good. Good enough. And went to the wheel route. Six points. <sighs> okay. We will kick an extra point. It's been a long game only because, again, we're throwing a ton. It is what it is, but I had to do it just to test. Thankfully, I'm kind of over the offensive line thing. Again, I think it's just certain plays your offensive line just struggles to defend. At least your, you know, the front covered, you know, the, the your stunts and such. And that's like 5% of the entire playbook they can't probably can't handle. So that doesn't bother me anymore. The problem is I'm these fumbles and big hits, I just I just struggle with it. I'm sorry, it just it is what it is. I mean, if I wish I had the mentality of not caring, but I'm seeing too many turnovers because of it. And turnovers is the most important stat in the game. If turnovers weren't so important, I wouldn't think too much of it. I'm afraid to look at the stats. I'm, I'll probably get upset. But they're trying to make something out of this one here. Go back. I don't like the way that looks. Good play there. Little twins out. That's a bit of a, a run and shoot concept. Yeah, you're right. 
Let's go here and let's do a cover three. I've noticed the defensive end on the right and the defensive tackle are slanting in. I'm curious to see how the offensive line handles it. Fourth down. Jeez, let's call time. And let's just go to half. I'm not going to be able to do a whole lot with it. There's no point. Missouri, ready to put this one away. I have a feeling I'm going to beat these guys. I just, I'm, so for whatever reason, Missouri's offense again can't do much of nothing, and that's been a theme through these last four or five exhibition games. Off the CPU offense just can't get going for whatever reason. Uh, let's just take a knee. I could probably stop the game right here, and I think I may have discovered some things, both good and bad, but. We'll, we'll finish the game out. Okay, let's look at some stats. That was a long half, but again, that's what happens when you throw the entire time. Well, we played a half of football. The score is fine. It's underneath when you start looking at the data is where it gets interesting. Only four first downs for Missouri, and I got a C-minus defense. And we're, we held them to 135 yards. And that's maybe an All-American thing. Maybe I'd have to crank it up. I, it looks like I have no choice but to crank up All-American CPU sliders offensively. Uh, they, I thought they actually ran the ball halfway decent. But he's 9 for 16, only 94 yards. Here's the biggie. Five fumbles already. Five. Five turnovers, but five fumbles. I feel like I'm playing 07 again. And I did not want to see this. Ah, oh, it, it kills me. I really want to make this game playable, but it's I'm seeing things that just really infuriate me. And the individual stuff, I it's not a big deal to me. Let's just go ahead and get into the third quarter. Well, we can look at that at the end of the game. New Mexico State. The biggest positive, the offensive line play, I think I figured out what the deal is there. It's just certain plays they just can't handle. I'm okay with that, whatever. Oh, no. Oh, ooh. Why did you spin? You didn't have to spin. Let's just do quarters. All right, Missouri. You got to light it up on offense. You got to do something. My defense is well below average. A good play there. Let's go with a 3-3-5 three, three, look. Let's do this monster three. No, I didn't want to do that. I don't have him as a spy. We'll play in coverage. I don't know what he was supposed to do. I may, may have been supposed to be blitzing. I don't remember. Oops, they went with the wide receiver sweep. Nothing came from it. Go 3-2-6, and let's do a basic cover three. Defense tackle, defensive end on the right are stunning in. And, yeah, they, the offensive line cannot handle that play right there. They just can't handle a defensive end coming in in the A-gap. That's what Carlos Dunlap did in the last game several times. And that's what that is. Oh, that's unfortunate. That's bad. All right. Let's get back on offense. Number 36 is waiting for the snap. He gets it away. Get a block right there. Thank you. Gosh, another. This may go to the end zone. To the 20. To the 10. Touchdown. Here we go. We got to look at this. That's what his ability can do. I got a touchdown because of this block right here. Look at this. Boom. I mean, he just, that was a Goldberg spear right there. And the rest of it, let's get back to this guy. I was looking, I think, I don't know. Do you think this is a bad pursuit angle issue? Look at these two guys right here. For whatever reason, they just do that. To me, that's bad pursuit angles. That's what I see there. Everybody else seems to do okay, but for whatever reason, they just done a terrible job right there. 
But that big hit is what caused the touchdown. Oh, this ain't looking good. All right, let's Silver keep playing. Lines up for the PAT. I got a really tall backup quarterback. He looks tall. Maybe my kicker's short. And he hits the PAT. So with under five minutes left in the third quarter, our score, New Mexico State, 27, Missouri, 17. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. Not the best kick in the world. Of course, it doesn't matter if I had a perfect kick. My kicker is not very good on the well, the offense couldn't get on the kick anyways. Let's see if they can do a Again, bit let's here. let's throw another one at him. Let's throw like... Uh, and we can do this free safety one again. I'm going to flip it. Let's see how the line handles this one. And they're going QB or a halfback run. Not a whole lot from it. You go back to this basic cover three. I'm afraid we're going to get some pressure on this dude. Six DBs in the lineup. I think they done a pretty good job there. Looks like they picked it up a little bit better that time. Now it's third and one. Let's go with the bare front. They're one for seven on third down. That's pretty bad, especially against my defense. That's a unique four. Oh, yeah. That's a new formation. Uh-oh. I'm so glad they got the first down. <laughs> I'm actually thankful they got it. All right, let's go back to quarters. If you can't catch the ball, then they move you over to tackle. But this guy does have good size and good hands. And he just got them a first down. PAF slide. I don't know which one to go for. Touchdown. Good, good, good. Good to see that. I was really starting to worry that their offense is just going to go off the cliff there. Uh, let's look at their line play. I'm sure it looked okay. And I didn't throw anything weird at him. So, yeah, I think I figured out what that problem was. Good deal. All right. They scored. Good. They actually got some yards and points out of on a drive. That ran into the kicker. I didn't do the safe zone thing. Okay. Let's get back on offense and keep throwing. I may do a little running this time. Just fool around with some of the new things. Like, I want to try that halfback correct with that auto motion. That looked pretty cool. Or I can go for a touchdown. Wow. That's an awesome looking kickoff return for a touchdown. That was a lot of, wow, you just cannot do that in those six. Now, was there any bad pursuit angles? That's the only thing that worries me. Either way, the blocking was superb here. Everybody got picked up. Now, these two guys, they just overgunned themselves. They just, then after that, there was no hope. That guy had a good pursuit angle. He just got blocked. Put my cursor back on him. The kicker, he had no chance. And that guy over there on the top fail. But that's an awesome play right here. Right up the middle. Gone. That's cool. Okay. Let's kick an extra point. Here's the kicking team to try the extra point. And I hope every, I'll stop it right here. I hope everybody understands. I'm not playing these other games just to try to prove a point that 06 is better than all. I really want to try to make these games work. I don't want to waste my time playing all these games just to show you all oh, 06 is the greatest. I'm in love with these new playbooks. I really want to try to make these games a whole lot of fun. That way I can show off a lot of cool things for you. That way you can use on your end. The problem is I'm just I'm just seeing bad things from these later games and the, some of the earlier games too. It just it is what it is. I just I wish it wasn't so. I wish they just had the 06 gameplay with new playbooks, but they decided just to tweak so many things that, and they didn't have to, but they did. So it is what it is. But I just want to prove that point, make that point that it's not to try to prove a point in any way. 
I really want to make these games work and fun. That way I can show off these playbooks, and it's just hard. When we're seeing too many things, like, look, even my kicker got a big hit. He didn't fumble, though, so that's all that matters. They're going with a gun trips look. Big hit. That's okay. He didn't fumble. That's, that's okay. Uh, let's go back to... We got a quarter deep. Wow, I didn't know we had that. We got three, two, six, and a quarter deep. They're going with five wide, so let's do some of that. Cover. That's weird. They got to cover three man. Second this is like the new type of defense you see a lot, like in the Big 12 and stuff. Three deep safeties. Three deep safeties. You got three linemen. And what is it? It is third and five. Let's do three, two, six. Let's see if hopefully they can do okay against this cover three. From their own forty-yard line, third and five coming up. Well, yeah, we'll try to blitz this guy. Line up with three wide. No, oops. They picked it up well. Wow, good. And he drops it. Why did he in the world did he drop that? He dropped it because he got hit. Ah. Wide receiver catch and slider. We'll have to go up for that. That's just too many of them. We'll definitely check out that stat at the end of the game. So we got another stop. The Tigers are lining up to punt it away. I'm trying to think of a place we haven't called yet. I'm sure there's quite a few. I've only stuck to the same three or four formations. He can break these with a block or two. He punts it. Get a block right there. Oh, oh, uh oh. He's gone. Wow, another touchdown. I'll be. And that was just a stiff arm, I guess. Everything looked pretty legit, but he just... A stiff arm knocked that dude out as well. Wow, that's like a double stiff arm. And then it's off to the races after that. No chance there, huh? Okay. They'll line up for the point after. I feel like we haven't had three offensive plays this entire quarter. Have we had any normal offensive plays this quarter? I feel like it's all special teams. I could be right on that. I don't remember. Either way, it just this isn't looking good. And this one's a short kick. Number nine takes it to twenty. My kicker is making every tackle on special teams. Go back to the three three five and throw. They got a quarter. It's true quarters. They actually called it quarters. Let's run it. They'll set up shot at the thirty one yard line. The tiger set up in the gun. I love all the new defensive stuff. That's really cool. I'm happy with all that. Just a bad throw. Should be picked. Let's go. Let's just go back to quarters here. I guess. Second down. Ace backfield. Wide receiver play. Nothing there. Third and 12. Let's go back to the 3 2 6. And let's just do that cover three. That's fine. Third down and 12. Ball on their own 29. I'll control this guy, I guess. The defense comes out in the dime package. He's looking. He Interception. That was a terrible throw. The Just a bad throw. Let me say one thing. That was a so, again, pitch. I would Even love to go. The only reason I'm playing All-American is because I'm trying to negate the jump to snap. Jump to snap, we don't see hardly any of an All-American. That's awesome. The problem is everything's just getting a little too easy. If I go back to Heisman, jump to snap will be like every other play for both teams, and it'll be a nightmare. So, I can either crank up the sliders or have some other plans in mind. Let's try this halfback direct. Where's it at? Is it here? There we go. This drive will start and they're doing that. Well, this may not work at all. We'll call it anyways. 
The Aggies line up with four wideouts. They snap it to the back. Tackle at the 31. Just nice little move around that guy. Four yards on the play. That'll bring up second down. Uh, let's do angle post. We're going man. This will go to probably our out route. Unless they bring both safeties. New Mexico State lines up for the shotgun set. Drops back to back. Good play there. I don't think I got the first. And I didn't. Third in inches. It was, but you know what? As long as they've got those guys getting open underneath, it'll take a lot of pressure off those offensive They're going zone. We're going curl flat, so we're going to just keep this simple. New Mexico State lines up with three receivers. We're going to slide protect out. They'll throw for the first. Fires a bullet out to the right. Let's get out of bounds. Might as well. I like it. 25 completed passes <laughs> so far. And they did just that picking up the first down. That's right, sweetheart. Let's call, let's, let's do Z post. Do some air raid. We're going zone. Let's take a look at the numbers. Brought to you by Old Spice. Guess we're shifting this way. Interception, that's a good play. Good defense. I couldn't get to him in time. If that was like a curl, that would have been probably a six points. Corner went low. I should have threw it right there, and I didn't. I threw it. That's just a good play by the defense, by the safety. Got no problem with that. I just didn't throw it quickly enough. The offense will start at the five-yard line. This quarter seems to go by. Seems to be going by a little bit quicker. Play action. And it dropped. Ah, jeez. his eyes off the ball and dropped it. You gotta squeeze that ball, then think about where you're gonna go. We'll just stick with the bear crash gold. Another play, play action. Terrible throw. Gosh, that's terrible. That's bad. Was the intended and they're so that'll make it third down. Let's do cover two man just in case. I don't know. They line up at the five. Third down. I know I can rotate. I, doubt they put the ball in the air I can in rotate situation. the safeties. I just don't know how. Daniel you can do it in those six. Ah, dang it. That's a good boy. I just couldn't get in the right position. Let's go three, three, five. Monster three. It's first down. I got the middle of the field. Daniel lines up in the shotgun. Daniel back to throw. He's looking down the middle. Pick up first down there. I wonder if they picked up the blitz. We can check here. It wouldn't let me do it. Let's see. Oops, let's go back. All right. They done a good job. Well, I mean, this guy was coming through, but either way. Yeah. Three, two, six. Let's do quarters. First down. Daniel with three wide receivers. Go back. I don't like the way that looked. Daniel drops back. Throw. They can't connect. Incomplete. Coach, you made a big nice hit. Tossed the drop. He sure did. He just I mean, he just. Hand out and get the it is what it is. Um, let's do. A, look at that zone blitz. That looks crazy. Let's try it. Second down, 10 yards to go. We the will Tiger. control, yes, the middle of the field. Hopefully, this is going to be a weird play. Big dog, big dog. I didn't know what was going to happen there. They decided to go for a run. Third and 12. They may get this playoff. Two, one. The bring in their dime package. Good defense. Good SWAT, Al. Good SWAT. All right, end of the quarter. Let's get around to the fourth. We're going to go for it, which makes sense. Quarter day. Let's just go back to this cover three. I'm just curious to see if they can still handle the defensive end or not. If he was a better defensive end, they probably would struggle, which makes sense. He got it off anyways. 
so we can look at that again. Fellas, this is really turning into a very if I can get to it. Drive. Nope. I mean, right guard picked it up, but he just got a random. So that's legit. That's that seems okay. All right, let's do a z z lightning two. We're just gonna do a zone blitz of some sort. I thought they said they was going three wide. Jeez. And the linebacker makes a good I'm not going to say it. The thing I like about this second play is he made the play without getting pass interference. This is a good football player. Let's do quarters. The defensive back's moving in closer. He drops back. He steps up. Batted ball. I didn't even touch it. I just kind of got in the way. I was afraid to press any button, to be honest. Third and ten. Let's go to a three-quarter deep and do a... Crash three, that looks pretty nasty. Looks like a cover two at the bottom then with a cover three at the top with the way the corners are doing. The Tigers come out in the shotgun. He's looking to pass. Interception. Fumble. <laughs> Big hit. <laughs> oh, that sums up 09 in, in a nutshell. Look at this right here. Interception. Big hit. Fumble. Oh, gosh, what a mess. <laughs> That's so funny. Well, let's go here and see what we have. They don't have a whole lot of auto motion in their playbook. We're going zone. We will read. It's the center beater first. Not seen it. Looking. He flings it right. Caught. Get a few the yards there. The, -yard line. the, the line seemed to do okay there. Nice job there by the defense to get to him and make Let's do sure curl flats. That's fine. Right. Right. We're That's going great. zone. It's second down and seven to go. Ball I got 11. a center beater. We can read that. We'll do slide protect in. He got bogged down a little bit. So third and two. You know, it may be simple, but whenever you can gain solid yardage, you're doing something right. Uh, we may try that double smash again here a bit. Let's go curl flat just to pick up the first. We're going zone. Shift and right. We will do the same. Come out the shotgun. He'll throw for the first. Looks. Throws this one out to the right. His receiver has it. Now, let's talk about this. The corner went low, so I'm going to my curl. I think I made my point clearly on the corner thing. Now, here's what I've done here. I went straight towards the sideline, and look at this safety right here. And then I cut up field, and he just couldn't handle that whatsoever. Okay. Let's go back. Uh, let's flip this bubble screen. We're going zone. Last time we done this again, zone, it worked pretty well. It's R1. That's just good defense. On the play. We can stay here. There's that twins out. Let's flip it. Right. We're going down. zone. Only thing I don't like about this is the two out rats are a little too close yeah, together. Wow. So we can bring a center. This guy over here have a center beater if needed. Right. He drops back. He'll dump it short. I had to get that one off quick. They just took what the defense gave them I didn't even look for a center beater. I just felt the heat a little bit, and I just got this off. I noticed the corner went high, so I was obviously going to go to my out right down here. So a pretty easy decision. Let's go back here. What do we have? Have we Let's pick something we haven't really called. Split in. Uh, let's do this Z shallow cross. Let's do this. We'll flip it. It's third and three. I just kind of noticed that. They're going zone. This should be interesting. Dang it. That's good defense. I couldn't get it off in time. I'm sure somebody came through legit. Nope. This is what happens. Again, we've talked about this. The offensive line does not handle this well when an edge rusher goes inside. Because look what... This left guard just whiffed on it. Just stood there. He don't know what to do. He's got this guy on his mind, staring at him, and completely misses this guy. So that's what happened. 
And he gets a hit big time. Look how wide open this guy is. I was trying to give it to him. It didn't work. All right, fourth and 12. Uh, yeah, let's just punt it. Here comes the punter looking to boot this one away. We can run a little clock. We can now treat this as a real game if you want. I have a feeling we're going to win. Up 17 with three and a half to go. I don't think Missouri's offense is good enough, I, which is sad to say. But I don't think their offense is good enough to keep up with me. Number nine, Their last drive ended when they decided to try for it on fourth down and were turned away by... We'll go quarters. Going supposedly three wide, but it looks like they got a Y flex or a Y slot formation. Big hit, drop. It is what it is. That's how to break up a pitch. That one had completion written all over it. But the young man on defense delivered a good enough hit. Let's throw another weird cover three at him. There was no way he was going to let that receiver catch I'll control the middle of the field here somewhat. The Tiger set up in the gun. Interception, a terrible throw. I don't know what that was. He probably was feeling the heat. Let's look at the line play. And there you go. The defense is playing very opportunistic. The defense, offensive line just can't handle this type of play. That left right guard, he had no clue. He was going after the other guy. And he comes right on through. Chase Daniel gets spooked. That, that That's exactly what happened there. And that guy just picks it off. Okay. I'm going to start running clock. That way we can just get this game over with. I think we, we've all seen enough Good today. <laughs> Alright, we're going zone dime. Their I may just hand this off, and I like the shift. Going with the shotgun here. Get about five yards. At the 24. Four yards on that play. Four yards. Uh, let's do here. Uh, let's do Y corner. From the 24 yard line. They're going man. It's second down. Six yards. They're doing that free safety thing. State comes out in the shotgun. So I may just dump this off to my other halfback. Looks to pass. Just to get it out. I'm sure I was fixing to get sacked. No, the protection was halfway decent. I'll be. I actually had a little bit of time. I got a little spooked, so I just kind of got it off at time. The pass wasn't all that good because my halfback stopped. And I can put my curse on him. Yeah, this pass wasn't all that good. So we're on the right hash. Let's stay here and well, let's go wide cross again. We're going zone. The last time I ran this, it got picked off because I didn't throw it in time. The Tiger bringing the nickel back. Bad throw. He was wide open too. Ah, look at this right here. Oh, just bad throw. All right, let's go for it. Might as well. I have no desire to kick a field goal. What's the point in that? We'll go to slot post. They're going they go zone. We got to go deep on this one. New Mexico State comes to the line. Three and they're doing that. Right. First down. Now, I wonder if this guy was open. Was Let's look uh, from the quarterback's angle. I thought they went cover two and they did. So, yeah, this was probably, no, dang it. This was probably a touchdown right here. But I saw my comeback open as well. That combo of a post and a comeback is almost unstoppable. I mean, that was six points probably right there. That's okay. I went out of bounds too, didn't I? Oh, the clock's running. That's good. Let's do a QB wrap. Let's run a the ball the and the clock a little bit. Really now, as soon as they go to a run, they go to a 4-3 look. Old Spice red zone numbers. This is a dark play for us. We'll probably here. just try to go around the gut. Read the right tackle, just follow him. As such, get five yards out of it. They get about five yards from the halfback. I wish I had well, on the five. I don't see a halfback screen here. They don't have it in this formation. Do they have it here? 
They have it there. Let's go here. They may go goal line on me. Yeah, they're going to go goal line. <laughs> this play may not work at all. I'll probably just dump this to the halfback. It may get busted up, uh, period. Nope, we're going to get six points. Now, my backside dig probably was open. No, he was covered, so I made the right call. I didn't even look at him. I just went to this guy right here. Look at this hit right here. I mean, this is Roman Reigns type spear stuff. Gosh. Six points. Well, that's an interesting way to end it. There's still a minute and a half to go. Oh. Next time we get the ball back, we're taking a knee. So with less than two to go in the fourth quarter, the score is New Mexico State 48, Missouri 24. I don't think, even if I increase the sliders up for the CPU offense on All-American, I don't think it'll help a whole lot. Like, instead of beating Missouri by 25, I may beat them by 12, if that makes sense. Like, I would love to play on Heisman. But here's the problem. If... The CPU offense can't do anything on All-American. How can I expect them to do anything on Heisman, if that makes sense? That was another thing. On CPU, on Heisman, offensive, the CPU offense couldn't do squat, and they obviously can't do squat in All-American. Almost picked it off. How about that defense? Well, that's why he's on the field, to make plays like that. Third and four. They line up at the 36. Third and four. We'll control the middle of the field. The defense comes out in the dime pack. Moves up in the pocket. Looking. Somebody came through. Protection was good. The defensive end got, you know, got stopped, but they couldn't handle that guy right there. They just can't handle it. Okay, that is ball game. Let's just get the ball and take a knee. We'll look at some stats, and I'll give you my thoughts. Al's final thought on NCAA 09. We'll fair catch that. The offense with a lot of success through the air on that last drive as they moved it down the field. For uh, what am I doing? Let's, I don't know what I was doing there. Let's do a QB kneel. Surely they won't call timeouts on us. That wouldn't make a lot of sense. The Tigers their down package. All right. Hopefully you at least enjoy the passing stuff that I was able to show off today. It's, that was a lot of fun. Their offense was per, or their defense was pretty easy to attack. If I got the time to throw it, I don't care what you have. I I could do damage against it. And thankfully the offensive line thing, I figured it out, but it's still an issue. It's still a problem, but at least I know what it is. And I don't know if uh, the. Pass blocking slider will help or awareness. I'm thinking it probably won't. I think the the offensive line is just programmed to really struggle <laughs> against those type of plays. But either way, all right, let's look at some stats here. Now that was why did I do that? I didn't have to. Okay, we beat them by 24 points. So that's what I mean when I say even if I increase the sliders really high for all American, or if I go to Heisman, what's the difference? Missouri. I'll probably end up winning by 10 instead of 24. Lee Corso and Kirk Herbstreet saying thanks and so long. Okay. And here's what's the funny thing. I just beat a number, a, the number seven team in the country by 24 points and look at my user report card. Passing, not all that good. All probably because of those interceptions. Defense, went all, our tackling wasn't very good. Our catching was terrible. Well, whose fault was that? I'm not going to say it. All right, let's go to the stats. Okay, all, this was disappointing. I was expecting Missouri to do something offensively, and they barely had 260 yards. We only had 322. We got the short field a lot today. Passing was a whole lot of fun. Uh, Chase Daniel 
was less than 50% on his completions, and that's not good. That shouldn't have been. Sacks, that seems halfway normal. Biggest problem we saw today, nine turnovers, six fumbles, six interceptions. That's just goofy. It just that shouldn't happen in the game, and we're starting to see that at a consistent rate within these last three games. Uh, kick return, you know, we had a lot of special teams play. Look, we had 639 yards total today. Oh, gosh. Uh, penalties, whatever, it's not a big deal. I wanted to see drops. Let's go receiving. They had four, five, six, seven. They had seven drops. We had five. At least 90% of those were due to big hits. I hate to say that a hundred times, but, I mean, it just, it, it is what it is. So, I wanted to look at one last thing. The pancakes are, dear gosh, look at all these pancakes. Nine pancakes for one guy. And they didn't even run the ball much. That's, okay, whatever. So here's my final thought. I am, I've seen enough with 09 to where I don't know if I can make it work to make it enjoyable. Uh, I hope you understand that through seeing these several games. 09 just has issues, especially on All-American. On All-American, the CPU offense just can't do its thing. We're starting to see a whole lot more turnovers. It feels like it's 07 again all over. If I went up to Heisman, both teams would be plagued with jump to snap, and the offenses would be even worse. Uh... The offensive line issue where they can't handle stunts inside defensive end rushes. I'm sure big hits, that's just a, an issue for me personally. And it should be an issue for everybody. Anybody who complains that the big hits is not a big deal, look at the turnovers. How many were those were caused by big hits? I rest my case on that. So, I'm going to take a break from 09 for quite a while. Okay, next video, we're going back to 06. I've... I've had enough of a break. I got to get back to 06. There's no other game personally that compares to it in terms of balance gameplay. Nothing goofy that really aggravates you. It doesn't aggravate me. Some people don't like the impact player thing. That doesn't bother me. It works on both sides, and it's fun to use. I have no issue with it. Trust me, 06 does not have as bad as issues as anywhere close to what this does, or 07, or what have you. So going forward... I'm just going to play 06 for a while. We're going to get back with Mississippi State and go from there. So hopefully all this shows some things for you, good or bad, probably bad. Unfortunately, I'm sorry. Again, my intent was not to just to poo-poo all over 09, but unfortunately I just exploited some things. I, I discovered some bad issues with it that I wish I could get over, but I just don't think I can. Not a big deal. I can always have 06 to have fun with. All right. Come on back. We'll play our first game of Mississippi State Dynasty. I think it's Texas A&M. Should be a lot of fun. And I'll talk to you later.